All right, there we are. Now we should be able to put the very last of the stuff in the system. That's gonna go in the system, that is. Oh, no, actually that chest is empty. Excellent, okay. So now, uh, we're probably gonna need some more item ducks, actually, now that I think of it. There aren't any other item ducks over here, good. Okay, so what we wanna do now is automatically pump the output of these two machines into the sorting system so we don't have to ever carry stuff from here to there and back again. Okay, to do that, we need those item ducks that we just put in the system. We should be able to get them out now. having some uh, lag issues at the moment? Um, occasionally. Oh, okay. No, I got it to work. There we go. Yet more item ducts. The other thing I should do now that I can, uh, now that I have all of my stuff in one place, is to start building the stuff that I would need to go to space. And that will start with a compressor. oxygen compressor or a decompressor, but a regular compressor. Not an electric compressor, just a regular compressor, because I can't build an electric one yet. I don't have the stuff. Okay, and I think in order to build that, first I need the circuit fabricator. So what do I need for the circuit fabricator? There's the circuit fabricator. Okay, so for that I need... Redstone torch, aluminum wire, buttons, a furnace, a lever. Okay, so the aluminum ingots are the, and we probably need several of those. So we'll throw some aluminum in the smelter as well. Okay, that should do it. And I hope I don't actually need switches on these, but I can put them on if I need to. Let's find out if that works. Let's pulverize something. We have that can be pulverized. Could grab some wool. There's some wool. Get one wool. So now, if we put the wool in the pulverizer, it gets pulverized into string. The string disappears, excellent. It should end up in this chest. Let's see if we have more string than we thought we had before. 55, yeah, I think we had 51 before. Okay, good. Yay. Looks 
looks like our molten aluminum is ready. And don't plan to be going to the moon anytime soon, but you have to start really early. And uh, most of it's just waiting for stuff to run. Waiting for machines to finish doing the things you told them to do. So, it's good to get a uh, jump start on it. be able to build a circuit fabricator, I'm hoping. Let's see, what else do I need? Buttons and levers. Okay, and a redstone torch. Button is just a stone, good. Got a couple of those. I think we've got a lever in the chest already, so I'll put that up where we can see it. We need a redstone for a redstone torch. Excellent. Okay, what's left? The furnace, that's right. We've got a furnace upstairs, so I'll just go grab that. Hey, my sheep's got wool again. And I don't remember. Oh no, I, good. I do have my shears in my inventory. <laughs> I was worried I'd forgotten where I put them. Can't reach that, so we'll just uh, sneak in here. Good. Okay. So buttons go there and there. The switch goes there, I think. The furnace goes there. Aluminum wires go there and there. Oh, did I miss one? Nope, oh, there we go. Okay, circuit fabricator. Excellent. Now these Galactic Craft things are a little touchy. They will consume power even uh, when they're not doing anything, which is kind of annoying. So I need to find a way to hook them up so I can switch the power into them on and off so it doesn't drain all my power. Which means I think I need another leadstone energy cell. Yeah, because that's what I would be able to switch on and off. Well, actually, I'm just going to hook this up temporarily. Okay, it's got power, excellent. So what we need is a diamond. see here. Stone torch there, put redstone there, cross silicon there, and there, diamond there. Hey, it's running. Hey, a 
and we have basic wafers, which is what we needed this machine for. So now let's just uh, move it. Oh, <laughs> still have to break it with an axe, huh? Okay, and we'll keep those machines in this chest over here so they don't clog up our sorting system. Okay, so now we should be able to make a compressor. Hmm. Now we should actually start a whole bunch of iron smelting so that we have something to compress. Mm, looks like we're probably going to have to get some more iron here. I probably should start the rest of it cooking into steel. is the compressor. Okay, there it is, compressor. Okay, so that requires six aluminum ingots. We're going to need, need some aluminum as well. Copper ingot. Oh, an anvil. <laughs> That's a lot more iron, isn't it? That's three blocks of iron. And, oh, wow. Okay. So rescue some of this iron from here. Let's actually just rescue all this iron from here. That's not enough for three blocks. Okay, any more yet? No, not yet. We're definitely going to need two more aluminum and a copper, huh? Okay, and we've got enough, I think, to make an anvil now. Alrighty, now we have an anvil. Should just smelt up a copper separately because otherwise it will mix with the aluminum and make aluminum brass. We've already got more of that than we need. Mm -hmm. If I make a second seared tank, like the one I have attached to my um, my smeltery, mm -hmm. could I go fill it by a lava source, break it, bring it back, and swap out the empty one? You could, but it only holds four buckets. Oh. Um, and all the other tanks you can make hold eight or more, so I'd suggest making one of the other tanks. But if you do, you'll need to make a, a crescent hammer to move it with, so that's the... That's the price you pay. The crescent hammer isn't all that expensive. I think it's three iron and a tin, so it's not too bad. It'll also allow you to move your other machines more easily. I don't even know how to use a crescent hammer. Um, you can right click with it to turn stuff around and you can shift right click with it to harvest anything that's thermal expansion. So machines or the tank, the one with a, um, that's the one you make with one copper and four glass, copper in the middle and the four glass around, that'll hold eight buckets. And if you then put it in the middle and invar around it, then that'll make one that'll hold 16 buckets. Does that make sense? Okay, copper in the middle, aluminum all around the sides, 
anvil at the top, wafer at the bottom. And I don't have all the aluminum yet. It's still waiting in the smelter. Looks like it's ready. Alrighty, now we can make a compressor. Excellent. And this one does not run on power, it runs on coal, which we have quite a bit of, or, or other substances like coal. So that should be good. So I'll just stick it right here. Okay, good. Now we'll grab some coal. Uh, let's see here. This iron we were going to smelt into steel. Go ahead and start to make some compressed steel from the other steel. But first, we should grab a bunch of copper and smelt it up. Because we're going to need that too. Actually, let me check out the various recipes for bronze. There's compressed copper, compressed tin, compressed aluminum, compressed bronze, compressed iron, compressed steel. Okay, so the bronze you can make from one copper and one tin in an ingot compressor. Hey, somebody left an airship in my mine. Oh, yeah. Sorry, is it in the way? No, it's okay. Okay. I'm just giving you shit. Oh, interesting. So it looks like there is... Oh, this is page one of three. Okay, let's see here. You can also make it from bronze ingots. And bronze ingots are made... Uh... I think bronze ingots are cheap, or use more copper. Than, uh, than the using them, putting them in the compressor. So that may be what I do, because I've got more copper than tin. And let me see if that's right. right. And one tin, three copper. How are you doing? Oh, we need to grab some coal from here first. Alrighty. Okay, and our steel is done. So we'll go ahead and put it in the compressor and see how that goes. Okay, should be making clanging noises now. Yep. Okay. That's oh, I turned steel. into a tiny slime. What turned into a tiny slime? I did. Oh, you did, because you killed a tiny slime. Does that uh -huh. mean you have a slime ball? From killing I have it? two slime balls. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of slime balls. I don't have any yet. Okay, so what have we got in here? We have got just tin? I guess the tin malts faster than the copper, huh? Okay, and we have bronze, four ingots. Excellent, that's exactly what we want. Go ahead and throw the rest of this in. And in a while, we'll take out some blocks of bronze. Okay, so now we can feel free to do some of the other things that we were going to do. Uh, let's see, we want to 
have a look at the sorting system and see if there's anything we were going to do specifically with any of this that we might have forgotten about. Okay. I want to plant some cocoa beans somewhere. So we'll go ahead and grab those. And jungle wood to plant them on. Alrighty, plant some cocoa beans, that's good. Uh, we should make a machine. Oh. Is there anything interesting in here? Uh, I think we know what chest to put those in. So going to let's see, we have anything here? We have eleven compressed steel. Cool. Do we have any more steel in the system? I forgot. I think I might have made some back way back when. That I didn't actually use. Yes, there happens to be eighteen steel in here. So we'll go ahead and get all of that and also turn it into compressed steel. smelt up the rest of the uh, assault that we might happen to have in here. Okay, we've got 32 regular assault and 35 cobblestones. So let's get all of both of those. some of that. Oh no, the cows are in the way. As I should have suspected they would be. Fern seeds. Oh yeah, fern seeds. Those are from uh, archaeology, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I was just watching a little of a series with uh, for, with archaeology in it. I think you plant them underneath trees. Hmm. And they spread on their own accord, maybe? I don't know. It was hard to tell for certain because sometimes he just you know skips portions of times in his videos. Hey, we got some bronze. Let's throw the rest of this uh, salt cobblestone in there. Looks like I need some more stuff to uh, smelt that with. my wood out of the sorting system and put it in my sawmill. Let's see. Oh, 
wood, sure. Actually, the rubber wood goes in the sawmill first. Oops. Throw the compressed steel in the sorting system. out and go compress it. And now we should throw some aluminum in there because we're also going to need compressed aluminum. should probably go get some wheat to breed my cows with. Because I think I may just have to kill some of them in order to get them out of the corner. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I should have realized that would happen. <laughs> Oops. 